Hey everyone, Nick from Resonix Sound Solutions here with another Helix DSP PC tool tech tip. Uh, today I am going to be showing you something very simple, but I've actually seen a few people confused about, um, and I've also seen a few people maybe doing it in a way that's very disorganized. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to save and load files easily and effectively. Um, I am in demo mode, so I, it won't be 100% perfect, but it will be very close. So we're gonna hop into demo mode here. Um, now actually, good time to show, when you are connected, this is where your different presets will show if you are connected to your uh, DSP, and you'll see up to 10 slots loaded here. Whatever one, whatever preset you wanna open, you would just click on it and click load, and it would open right up. Um, I'm gonna click no for now. Now, first things first, all of your load and save and load again options are all right up here, these three bars. The load button, this loads different files. The save button will save your different presets to not only the processor, but also to your uh, PC. And this button here, this is where again, all of those different presets will be loaded and you can just select any which one, you can rename them, you can you know, load one, you can copy them, you can delete them, you can add a new one, uh, a lot of different options here. But something I really wanted to show you is the save uh, options here. Um, you, let's say we make you know, some adjustments here, cool, we have our tune and this is gonna sound amazing. And all right, cool, we're done. Um, what we're gonna do, we're gonna notice this little red uh, thing is highlighted right in the save and store button. This means that a change was made, but we didn't save it. So if I like saved it right now and I didn't change anything, it would be not highlighted red. Um, but if I make a change, it'll be highlighted red. We can click save and store. We can, you know, whatever preset we want, we can overwrite the preset we're on or we could save it to a new preset. Uh, we would click save. I'm gonna save it to you know, into a nice folder. I like to uh, save things in folders uh, and name things appropriately. The default names are going to be something like M1 dash the date dash, you know, whatever. Um, so we're gonna go into our tuning folder and then I name it like the date. So today is April 24th, uh, 2024. And then I would name this, you know, uh, Resonix 4.24.24 version one, or can name it, you know, uh, more mid bass or whatever, whatever you really want. But I, th I find this to be a good way to keep things organized is to date it and maybe add a little description and you'll save it. So that will do two things. It'll save it to the processor and it'll also save it right into our folder here. Um, that's, that's pretty, pretty straightforward. Um, let's make, you know, a different version. You know, if we do this again, now we'll see that that red bar highlights again, and we can, we have to save it again. Um, we could save it under a new preset again in demo mode. It's not going to be there. It's not going to give me that option, but you would select number one, two, three, all the way up to 10, and you can just save it to a new preset, or you can leave it on whatever one you're already on and just overwrite it. Another cool feature is if you're just in the middle of something and you don't really care about saving your different uh, files, I like to save many, many, many different files as I'm tuning just in case I need to revert. Even though there is the um, time machine feature, which I did go over in a previous uh, video, which is, where is that? Is that even available? Yeah, time machine enabled. This is like auto save at different, every minute it'll save something down here. But I still like to save, you know, every time I do a round of EQ, I will save it as just like a basic, like all right, we just did, you know, all of the tweeters, mid range and mid bass for our first time. I'll just save it as like one. And then we'll, all right, we adjusted something different and then I'll save it as two. And once I start dialing it in, that's when I'll start, uh, creating the different named um, profiles and settings. Uh, one thing to note, the software can only save names that are so long. So this one is relatively long. What you would really see in the software when you reopen it is like 
Resinix, you know, April 24th, 2024, and then it might have like part of the, you know, next word, but it doesn't have enough room to add all of this. So be mindful of that, that you sometimes want short names. Uh, another thing that you can do to help with that is right here, this is a little feature where you can take notes. Um, so you can write, oh, I added uh, more mid bass verse preset two, you know, uh, and you can maybe say shell filter at 100 Hertz plus one DB. And like for that, we can go to our mid bass channels and boom, you know, whoops. There's our, uh, there's our different preset and we could save this as, you know, that's the more mid bass one. And yeah, there we go. Um, I think that pretty much covers it. You know, the way you can load again, click, you go to, you know, your folder and boom, you load it and see, like I said, it's, it loaded it in as Resinix four. It didn't even get the whole date in there. So you got to keep your names very short if you want to be able to read the whole file name, or again, it can just be right in your notes here. Um, I think that pretty much, pretty much covers it. Um, if you have any questions or comments or, you know, suggestions, uh, feel free to comment them below or reach out via email, text, or phone call. Uh, I'm always happy to help. So yeah, stay tuned for more and have a good one.